This woman couldn't believe her eyes when she found this hidden door in her new home. She was alerted to it when a mysterious noise kept waking her up in the middle of the night. It creaked and cracked and drove her insane. But when she eventually found the source, she had no choice but to demolish the wall blocking it. Inside, she found a life-changing secret. Maria had always been an adventurous spirit, curious and undeterred by the unknown. Her life had been a never-ending saga of change and exploration, a journey to the untraveled corners of the world and her own mind. That's why when she found the old Victorian house tucked away on the outskirts of the small town of Bakersfield, it seemed like destiny, a new chapter, a fresh beginning, a mystery waiting to be unraveled. The previous owner, an elderly woman named Mrs. Whitmore, had moved into a nearby retirement home after her husband passed away. They had lived in the house for over 50 years, raising their children and grandchildren within its walls. Mrs. Whitmore had cared for the place meticulously, keeping it in pristine condition. But it was time for her to let go and move on. As she handed the keys to Maria, she smiled warmly. With a distant look in her eyes and a soft smile, she handed Maria the keys, her wrinkled hand trembling slightly. The house was more than just bricks and mortar. It was an echo of memories, love, and a lifetime of experiences. Maria had always dreamed of owning a house like this, a charming old Victorian with a rich history and plenty of character. When she saw the for sale sign outside the property, she knew it was a sign that the universe had aligned in her favor. She'd spent years saving, working tirelessly at her job in the city. And finally, it was all about to pay off. Finally, the house was ready to become her home. It was time for Maria to leave her cramped apartment in the city and start a new life. She spent the day moving her belongings into the house, organizing and arranging everything just as she had imagined. As the sun began to set, Maria lit some candles, poured herself a glass of red wine, and admired her handiwork. The house had exceeded her expectations, and she eagerly anticipated settling in. As night fell, Maria, exhausted, retired to her new bedroom. The anticipation of spending her first night in her new home filled her with a sense of accomplishment. However, the unfamiliar sounds of the old house kept her awake. She heard creaks and groans, different from the city's constant hum. Suddenly, a strange, unsettling noise rumbled through the house, prompting Maria to investigate. With a flashlight and robe, she searched the maze-like house, but the noise eluded her. Returning to her room, she dismissed it as her imagination. As she drifted off to sleep, the noise returned, louder and more persistent. Maria followed the sound to a dead-end corridor, where she sensed something behind a solid wall. Determined, she fetched a sledgehammer from her shed, prepared for drastic action. But her curiosity and fear had gotten the best of her. She had to find out what was behind the wall. The cold metal of the sledgehammer felt reassuring in her hands. With a deep breath, she began to pound at the wall. Plaster and wood chips flew everywhere, creating a cloud of dust that made her cough. But Maria was undeterred. She swung the sledgehammer, determined to find out what caused the noise. And then, just as her arms began to tire, the wall gave way. The dust cleared, and Maria was left staring at a door. Her heart pounded in her chest as she reached out and touched the worn wood. It was beautifully crafted, with intricate carvings that she could barely make out in the dim light. The door seemed out of place compared to the rest of the doors in her house. Before she renovated them, all the doors were plain gray and unadorned. But this one was made out of expensive wood, she could tell, and it was painted green. It even had a seam in the middle, so it could be opened like in old movies. Curiosity was piqued once more. She tried the handle, expecting it to be locked or stuck. To her surprise, the door opened with ease, revealing a small, dusty room. The air inside was musty and stale, as if it hadn't been disturbed in years. Maria stepped inside, sweeping the flashlight beam around the room. It was empty, save for a ladder leading up to a trap door in the ceiling. A chill ran down her spine as she realized that she had stumbled upon a hidden chamber, untouched and unexplored, right in her own house. She hesitated, looking up at the trap door. Should she leave it be and return to bed? Or should she climb up and see what lay beyond? As the silence of the house enveloped her, the chill intensified. But so did her curiosity. The house had already revealed its first secret, and she was eager to discover more. Little did she know, this was just the beginning, and what lay beyond the trapdoor would change her life forever. Taking a deep breath to steady herself, 
she pushed aside her apprehension and stepped onto the first rung of the ladder. The ladder creaked under her weight, and dust floated lazily around her. With each step, her anticipation grew, the adrenaline pumping through her veins. With a final push, she reached the top, her hand trembling as she reached for the latch of the trapdoor. The hatch was heavy and stubborn, but Maria's determination was stronger. With a grunt of effort, she pushed the door open, revealing a dark, cavernous space. She lifted her flashlight and shone it into the darkness, revealing a room filled with a hodgepodge of old furniture, boxes, and trunks, all of them covered in a layer of dust. It was like stepping back in time like it hadn't seen the light of day in decades. At first glance, the room didn't seem to hold anything particularly interesting, but as she looked closer, she noticed something unusual. There was a small wooden box tucked away in a corner, almost invisible beneath the years of dust and grime. Intrigued, Maria made her way toward the box, her heart pounding in her chest. She crouched down and carefully lifted the box, wiping away the dust to reveal ornate carvings on the lid. The box was small, no bigger than her hand, and surprisingly light. The carvings were intricate and beautiful, depicting what seemed to be a family crest. She gently lifted the lid of the box, her breath hitching in her throat. Inside was an assortment of items, old photographs, letters, trinkets, and a locket. Each item was a piece of history, a snapshot of a time long gone. Maria spent hours going through each item, fascinated by the glimpse into the past they provided. But what was most intriguing was the fact that all of these items were related to the Whitmores. Each photograph, letter, and trinket seemed to hold a piece of the puzzle that was their life. But why had they been hidden away in such a secret place? What could possibly warrant such secrecy? Remembering Mrs. Whitmore, Maria decided to take the items to her. Perhaps she could shed some light on the mystery. She carefully packed the items back into the box and descended the ladder, her mind buzzing with questions. She locked the door behind her and headed towards her car, clutching the box close to her chest. She arrived at the nursing home where Mrs. Whitmore was staying. The elderly woman was sitting in the common area, knitting a scarf. Her eyes lit up when she saw Maria and she gestured for her to sit down. Maria complied, setting the box on the table between them. I found something in the house, she began, her voice shaking slightly with anticipation. She opened the box and slowly started to lay out the contents on the table. Mrs. Whitmore's eyes widened as she took in each item, her hands trembling as she reached out to touch them. She picked up the locket and opened it, revealing a faded photograph of a young man. A soft gasp escaped her lips as she traced the man's face with her finger. The room was silent except for the soft ticking of the clock on the wall. Maria watched as Mrs. Whitmore went through each item, her eyes welling up with tears. It was clear that these were more than just forgotten memories. They were part of a life she had once lived. Mrs. Whitmore's trembling hands delicately traced the contours of the locket. The man in the photograph, she explained, was her late husband, George. A man of charm and wit, he had been her anchor in a stormy sea of life. They had been inseparable since the day they met, living a lifetime of love and shared dreams within the walls of the Victorian house. George was a man of many talents and interests, an avid collector of antiquities. He had a passion for history and was always eager to uncover the secrets of the past. This curiosity extended to their home, where he had discovered the secret room that had now become a treasure trove of memories. The room, she explained, was their sanctuary. It was a place where they would hide away from the world, surrounded by their cherished possessions. They would spend hours talking, dreaming, and planning their future together. Over time, the room had become a time capsule of their life together, each item a testament to their shared past. Sadly, as the years passed and George's health deteriorated, they stopped visiting the room. And with her gradual descent into dementia, she had forgotten about its existence almost completely. Her cousins, unaware of its secrets, had moved her to the nursing home, leaving the room and its contents untouched. Maria's discovery had brought back a rush of memories. The photographs, letters, and trinkets were tangible reminders of a life filled with joy and love. Mrs. Whitmore's eyes glistened with tears as she held the items, each one evoking a precious memory. She was grateful to Maria for this unexpected gift, this journey back in time that had brought so much comfort and peace. Mrs. Whitmore insisted on giving Maria a finder's fee for her discovery. She explained that there was more to be found in the room, a hidden treasure of sorts. George, she said, had never trusted banks. 
He believed in keeping his savings close. He instead kept them tucked away in a secret compartment in the hidden room. She told Maria to look for a wooden floorboard that creaked under pressure. It was a peculiar detail that Maria hadn't noticed during her previous exploration. Intrigued and a little overwhelmed, Maria agreed to return to the house and continue her search. Mrs. Whitmore seemed content. Her mind was at ease with the memories she had revisited and the secrets she had shared. Maria drove back to the Victorian house, her mind a whirlwind of thoughts. She felt a strange mix of anticipation and apprehension as she entered the hidden room once again. Climbing up the ladder, she began her search for the creaky floorboard beneath her feet. She moved carefully, pressing down on each board with her foot, listening for the telltale creak that would reveal the secret compartment. After what seemed like hours, she finally found it. A small, inconspicuous floorboard near the corner of the room. It creaked under her weight, and with a little effort, she was able to pry it open. Inside was a small box. It was similar to the one she had found earlier, but heavier. Her heart pounded in her chest as she opened the box. Inside was a collection of jewelry and a stack of banknotes. The jewelry was exquisite, each piece a work of art in its own right. The banknotes, though old and faded, were in surprisingly good condition. This was the treasure Mrs. Whitmore had spoken of. Maria was stunned. She expected to find something valuable, but the magnitude of this was enormous. It eventually held a total value of $80,000, and Maria was allowed to keep it all. When she heard the value, she immediately called Mrs. Whitmore to thank her and to ask her again if she was sure. It's yours. Use it to keep the house pretty, is what she said. If this story touched you as much as it did us, you should watch this video. Man spots hooded strangers on his property. When he sees where they're headed, he calls the police. Click here to get the full story.